I would like to answer a question that came from Jackie, who lives in, in the UK. And what she asked is, is firstly, I'd said that, you know, we're all housebound in New Zealand and in the UK, people have been um, encouraged to do some exercise. Um, and that uh, she's been walking three miles a day and she lives out in the moors in, in, in England. So, um, Jackie, in New Zealand, uh, people have been given exactly the same um, advice, which is that for your health, and that's not only for your physical health, but for your mental, emotional health and you know, your spiritual well-being, um, we all need to stay active and we all need to do regular exercise. The important thing about the exercise is that you keep a safe distance from other people. So your, so, um, your three miles a day is wonderful. Your, your husband says that you should do exercise. He's right, as well as the people who are telling you that you should be exercising. Um, and you will feel so much better for doing that exercise. So that's the first part. The second is the question of where does the two meters to be a safe social distance from each other, where does that come from? And what it comes from is um, actual modeling that people have done again and again and again, which is that if you, um, if you uh, take people's saliva, okay, you take what's inside, the secretions inside your mouth. No, sorry, I'll, I'll go a step back, okay. The main way that the virus is spread is that it gets caught up in the secretions inside your mouth, which are um, if you cough, which is much more common, or sneeze, then what happens is the droplets that are inside will shoot outside. The other would be kissing or you know, sharing um, secretions that way. But there we, we're much, much more careful and you only um, have that kind of contact with people that you're intimately involved with. And so, and so kissing and hugging, the sort of things that friends used to do uh, with a little peck, you don't do that anymore. So that's, that's gone. But now it's strangers and people you don't know who may well have the virus. So what they've done is they've done modeling where they have used a special stuff which makes, if you use a particular kind of light, you can actually highlight the secretions that come out. And then they've had people cough forcefully <coughs> like that, huge cough as, 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 they, as much as they can. And they have filmed the way that the spread of the secretions occur and you you would have to be an olympic coffer to get to two meters so the vast majority of secretions that come from a cough actually fall about one one and a half meters two meters there's virtually none and so for that reason they've said two meters would be safe. Um, if somebody sneezes, that's more explosive and it may go further. Um, I think that um, anybody who has half a brain will cover their mouth or the, the, you know, the, the, the advice is that you do it into your elbow because then it's not on your hands and, and when they cough and sneeze. So your risks if you're more than two meters and there's someone turns at you and sneezes right out, your risks are almost zero. This virus does not get carried on the breeze. It is in only in the droplets and the droplets are heavy and they fall to the ground. There are other viruses which may in fact uh, catch on to little dust particles they're smaller and they're lighter and they act in, and they may be carried on the breeze but not the vir the coronavirus 
not the virus that causes COVID-19. So that's why everybody is so confident, the experts are so confident that if you are two meters away from anybody, your risks are 10 to zero of catching, of catching this virus. So enjoy your walks on the downs. Uh, it sounds um, on the moors. Uh, is there a difference between the moors and the downs? I'm not sure. Um, enjoy your walk on the moors and just breathe in the beautiful air and have and enjoy the spring. And as long as you're two meters away from a person, you will not catch this virus.